Hey all you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Yeast 8. We are going to go ahead and progress <laughs> with trying to save more people. Um, hopefully start building a camp here. Um, before I go, what does Captain Barbaros have to tell you to me? Uh, Captain, what are you doing here? It seems the digitalis plant grows natively on this island. I thought maybe we could use it to make a basic medicine. I see. It would be helpful to have medicine on us while we're exploring. Do you need any help? Uh, that won't be necessary. I just finished my preparations. All I need are the ingredients and then I can make a basic medicine. However, I need to put the medicine in some sort of vessel. Mr. Christian, I believe you're carrying an empty bottle. Could we use that? Ha, huh, that would do nicely. If you run out of medicine, simply refill your empty bottle. Understood. Thank you very much. Uh, you can brew medicine using certain materials. Select medicine to brew at the apothecary. Okay, so... Okay. Use the materials you find on the island aid in your survival. You can obtain different types of materials. Got it. Awesome. Cool. I guess we're back out to exploring. Let's start searching for other castaways and mapping the island. Can you show me the areas you've been to thus far? Areas that add all visits will be automatically added to the map. Use the world map to view the entire island. If you want to view specific locations, use the area map. Okay, I don't I don't think I need to go over and read all that. Now where should we search from here? Judging by what you've already mapped, it seems this area is still unexplored. Shall we venture in this general direction? Sorry about that. I didn't mean for my friend to show up in the top corner. It's just beyond that opening. I'm not sure what lies beyond that point. Let's tread cautiously, just in case we need to retreat. You can I use the map to fast travel? I've already forgotten what her voice is supposed to be. <laughs> I just, I think it's supposed to sound like a royal pain in the butt. From the map menu, you can fast travel to any crystal you've made contact with. You can fast travel to return to base. Map fast travel, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty obvious. We got it. Allow me! Let's go! That's the way I came from, so it's this way that I need to go? Receive a reward for every 10%. There was something like some sort of reward, so every 10% I discover, I'll get a reward. So I'll have to visit the captain quite often then. Ooh, treasure chest. No. Get out of here. Iron ore times three. I see a large mountain to the north. This island might be larger than I thought. Not done yet. I hope there are more survivors. I would have hoped that more of them are alive so that way they can talk to you because Adol does not talk. <laughs> can I not find vines? What the? Okay. More fish. Ooh, treasure. Mango times two. How do I... Maybe I'll learn like a double jump or something later. Ooh, footprints. Gosh, this game looks so pretty. The beasts in this area look especially dangerous. We must be on our guard, Mr. Christian. 
I keep trying to say Kristen, but it always comes out Christian. I'm sorry. Try these once out. Okay, try these out once you get used to combat. Uh, flash move. Right. Okay, so there's also a flash guard right when it connects. You'll okay. gain temporary invincibility. Okay, so guard. Okay, hold L. Yeah, I figured that out. Are these footprints? I wonder. Oh, something's there. Which way are they going? Oh, they must have started here. Oh, okay. Oh, something's there. There's also something here. Wheat. There's also a treasure chest up here. So let's start this one. Ooh, a treasure chest. That's so nice. But the other thing I noticed was when I was trying to hit these monsters on the ground, they they weren't taking. Well, this one's. Easy. But like, is it these ones? Like I hit this one and like, it's barely taking any damage at all. That's, that's pretty bad. I'm guessing I need to get somebody who can do the um, the heavy hitting. That fruit looks delicious. Okay, let's not fight that thing. A large pile of boulders obstructs your path. The shore appears to continue on to the other side, but we can't pass through here. It's okay, it looks like the footprints... Wait. Fresh footprints trail off into the direction. These footprints might belong to the passenger of the Lombardia. We must follow them at once. Um, yeah, but like... Did the guy actually go on the other side of them and then like later it crashed down behind him when he went this way? These are pretty close knit, so at least it doesn't look like the person was running, it just looks like they were leisurely walking. Although there was a save point. And whenever I have a save point, I always think that there's gonna be like a boss. What's wrong? Something nearby is making noise. What is that? Uh oh. Is the ground moving? Like, look at that texture. Oh no, there's water. There's a puddle. <laughs> What's making that sound? Uh, keep quiet, please. Okay. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh! Oh! P please! Please help me! Well, don't fall on your face. What in the... Who are you? Oh no. What'd you bring? Oh no. You brought a dinosaur with you. Ah, uh, that beast. It looks like a a dinosaur. This creature seems to be different from any other beast or monster that Adol has fought before. C come on! Right place, right time. This has got to be fate. Come on, kiddos! Help an old guy out already! <clears throat> Must we really fight? We could run. Um... Oh my gosh, I'm doing like no damage to it. It's too hard. This isn't working. Does it have a weak spot? 
His face? Ooh. Um, whoa. It's super pissed now. It's so vicious. Is this? I feel a big one coming on. I can keep going. Oh, jeez. Please die. Oh, we did it. We killed it. Oh, nicely done. We did it, and we got level ups. Ferocity. Could this, in fact, be? <laughs> Thanks for saving my ass. I don't know who you kids are, but I love you anyway. What do you think you're doing? He's relieved that he lives. Did we both get slapped for that? <laughs> Sorry about that, little lady. Guess I got a little carried away expressing my gratitude. Your words will more than suffice. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> How uncouth. Oh. It's okay. I mean, he did wash up on shore. He probably needs a bath. It's fine. <laughs> um, what's your name? Um. Oh, the name's Sahad Nautilus. I'm a fisherman from the Grecian region. Get crazy awesome tattoos, Sahad. I hopped aboard the Lombardia to head home after being away on a long job. Nice to meet you. Um. Adel introduced, Adel introduced himself. I'm Laxia. Laxia von Roswell. Adel and Laxia. Got it. Man, all the islands in the gate to sea, and we just had to wash up on the Isle of Saren. You know of it? Of course I do. Growing up in Greek, my folks would always tell me. You better behave, Sahad, or I'll leave you marooned on the Isle of Saren. Every time my pop threatened to dump me here, I'd get so scared I'd piss my pants. <laughs> so where you're from, the locals know to avoid this place? Do they also know beasts such as this could be found on this island? Nope. Well, at least, uh, I didn't before today. Any ship what comes near the Isle of Saren sinks into a watery grave. Or so it goes. But no one really knows what this place is like. I mean, I've heard folks claim they came ashore here, 
but they must have been spinning yarn. Hmm. Are you worried about the beasts? What's wrong? Not quite. Anyway, we should keep searching. Man, I got the worst luck. I found this on the beach. Ended up smacking that beast with it by accident. Right in the kisser. By accident? That's an interesting weapon. Hmm. Ain't it? Figured I could use it to protect myself, but it ended up landing me in some pretty hot water. <laughs> huh? You better move. Look out! Or you want to go again? I guess not. Scared the hell out of me just now. But this ending works for me. I suddenly feel extremely fatigued. <laughs> you and me both, little lady. What with that thing chasing me around? I'm surprised I'm still standing. Oh, looks like I worked up quite the appetite, too. Say, uh, how about you take me to your camp? <laughs> oh, come on, get get over it. This guy's, this guy's friendly. I guess I could fast travel there, couldn't I? Oops. How do I... See, I go in and I make fun of the game for, like, trying to teach me how to do stuff, and then I'm like, I don't remember how to do the thing that it told me to do. Allow me! Yeah! Switch! Oh, that's how you fast travel. Okay, so I can fast travel to the calm inlet. Adol. Adol, you're back. Who might this be? Adol introduce Sahad. Oh no, how am I gonna do this? <clears throat> You're the captain of the Lombardia. Um, Zahad, I'm truly sorry for... Wasn't your fault. Huh? Judging by the current and the weather, that wasn't no ordinary sinking. I'm pretty sure that scary-looking tentacles are at fault for what happened. Hmm. What we really should be worrying about is who those tentacles belong to. Well, I really hope it's not the legendary Kraken. Anyway, I guess we can chalk this up to bad luck. I may just be a fisherman, but we men on the sea gotta stick together. <laughs> Thank you, Sahad. I hope this means more castaways are gonna start showing up. What? Oh? And who might you be? Togi? <laughs> I ran across him while I was searching this area. Hey, Adol! Looks like our bad luck hasn't quite run out yet. <sighs> Togi, you made it! Of course I did. I'm totally fine. It's gonna take more than some giant tentacles and a sinking ship to kill me. 
After the attack, I grabbed hold of some floating debris and rode the current till I washed up here. I swear, this stuff only happens when I'm with you. Never a dull moment when you're around. You're welcome. <laughs> Still, that was pretty bad. Even for us. How can they be so cavalier? <laughs> I guess that's what makes those two adventurers. <laughs> I don't know what your deal is, but I can already tell I'm gonna like you both. Adol, we've been through a lot today. Let's compare our information so we can plan our next course of action. As you can see, we now have the makings of a base camp in place thanks to Dogi. The sun is already beginning to set. Let's rest up here for tonight. Very well. Are you certain, Dogi? Yeah! I washed up on the beach just south of here, and I definitely saw another set of footprints in the sand. You don't think? It could be another Lombardia passenger. It's quite possible that several passengers have drifted ashore onto this island. Also, the footprints weren't that big. They could have belonged to a woman or child. Oh, that's worrying. Yeah, I searched the area, but they must have already left. We should search for them at once. It's simply too dangerous to explore an unfamiliar area at night. I hope they're safe. Let's search for them in the mortar. Let's search for them in the morning, Mr. Christian. Something else I'm worried about is the monster that attacked you. All my life, I ain't seen... A beast that ferocious. Based on your account, that beast may be indigenous to this island. I can't believe something so large and aggressive could be lurking here. Beasts like that are prone to a... Beasts like that pose a real threat to us castaways. If there are any other passengers on this island, we gotta find them and bring them here fast. Yes. We should fortify this area to better defend ourselves. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Hmm. Starting tomorrow, I'd like you to oversee the development of this base, Dogi. Sure thing. What do you want me to do exactly? We need to build our base so the castaways can feel safe until we escape. We obviously need shelter from inclement weather, but we also need a place where we can store food. Eventually, we'll need to build a facility where we can construct the ship we'll use to escape. Wow, you're serious about this. Sounds like you want this base to become a regular castaway village. Indeed. I think you're the perfect man for this job. I'll assist you in any way I can. Just leave it to me! I can't wait to get started! Adol, I'd like you to continue drafting the map while you search for the other passengers. Perhaps tomorrow you can expand the scope of your exploration. Still, knowing monsters roam this island, adventure or not, I must admit that I'm worried for your safety. Much as I'd love to join you, Adol, we gotta take care of things here. In that case, I'll go with him. That beast may have got the jump on me, but I'm a good tracker and pretty damn strong, too. Hmm, I see. Then please, accompany Adol. What about you? Are you gonna go with Adol, too? Y yes I will. <laughs> Welcome aboard! Ugh. Now then, I think we should get all get some rest. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow, and plenty of work to do. Thank you. There are two moons in the sky. The Isle of Saren, finish. Chapter 1.
Come on, back in the barn, everyone. Yes, yes, you're such a good boy. Adol hears a girl's voice that he does not recognize. Is this a dream? Ah. What's the matter, Donna? Father. Oh, that was a... Oops. <laughs> People are coming to this valley. Hmm, another vision then. Yes, its hue was crisp and clear. I think they'll be here tomorrow morning. Donna, are you... I'm okay. Hmm? I personally decided to do this. You don't need to worry about me. I'm fine. I understand. Still, I wonder who they are. They didn't look like people I know. They were wearing robes and riding carts pulled by big beasts. Hmm, they're probably not merchants either. They never come this way during the rainy season. I wonder who you saw. The Temple of the Great Tree? The hollowed ground before the Great Tree of Origins where the Maiden resides. Then Don- oh wait. Then Donna is. Yes, your daughter has been blessed with an outstanding essence. We've come to escort her to the temple. Oh, but this is so sudden. Yes, we understand that. However, as you no doubt aware, your daughter was chosen by the Oracle. I know. We can't refuse. Father, I've decided. The houses visited by the messenger are said to receive blessings afterward, right? And... I have no idea what that all was. Chapter 2. The Castaway Banquet Good morning. Why do you look so tired? I had a weird dream. Hmm. A weird dream. I guess even adventurers get the occasional nightmare. We're supposed to search for more castaways, remember? That's right, let's get going. You mean right now? Um, before we go, there's something I'd like to show you, Mr. Christian. While I was out for a walk this morning, I found a crate that had washed ashore. Inside, I found some clothes that looked to be your size. What kind of clothes? They're well made and look appropriate for exploratory excursions. Please, come this way. Oh, that looks fancy. I like it. What do you think? These clothes are certainly more durable than a sailor's uniform. Thanks, I like them. But please don't get the wrong idea. I am a Sundere, so I must say that. Given this circumstance, I merely thought that we should use whatever we can find. Anyway, I still haven't seen Sahad this morning. Let's find him so we can begin our search. Okay. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Actually, did... Did, uh, Loxia... Does she have... Oops. Does she have a costume too? Um... Holy smokes. Ah... Uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> um, let's let's just let her wear that. Oh, 
Oh, I can go back to the sailor outfit. Tropical sim swimwear. The pirate outfit looks pretty cool, too. But I actually really like this outfit. I'm gonna keep it as this one. Alrighty. Oh? Hey, it's Adol and the little lady! Where'd you find that get up, Adol? Oh, I don't want to tease her. I look good, huh? Yeah, that outfit looks like it was tailor-made for you. I mean, your sailor outfit was alright, but this looks like something an adventurer would wear. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Zahad and I woke up early feeling pretty hungry, so we came here. I gotta eat breakfast and take a dump afterward or else I get all antsy. Excuse me? Would it kill you to behave with a modicum of modesty? You know, like a proper adult? <laughs> She's hungry too. <laughs> What's the matter? Feeling hungry too? <laughs> Sounds like you got a healthy appetite. H how dare you? That most definitely was not me! M Mr. Christian, apologize at once for making such a vulgar noise. That wasn't me. But, but who else could it have been if it not you? <laughs> anyway, we're definitely gonna fall behind if we head out on empty stomachs. I got a lot of heavy lifting to do, but I'll see what to do about our food situation first. Say, Sahad, you're a fisherman, right? Think you could catch us some fish to eat? Huh? What do you think you're talking to? I gotta scrounge up the right tools first. But yeah, I can make that happen. Well, that settles it. Why don't you head to the beach with Sahad and catch us some breakfast? In the meantime, I'll get a fire ready so you can cook your catch. But must I really go too? I've never caught a fish before. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll teach you how to bait a hook and cast a line. Remember, if you want to eat, you gotta fish. Um, very well then. Oh yeah, one last thing, Adol. I've prepped some facilities in the village that might help you out. Facilities? Well, I guess they're not facilities in the usual sense. Still, why don't you check them out before you head to the beach? Yeah, we'll catch them. Yeah, we'll check them out. But we gotta be fast, or else Loxia's stomach is gonna keep grumbling at us. I already said that the noise didn't come from me. Okay, what is this? This looks like where Dogi is storing all the village materials. There's a note here. Let's read it. Warehouse rules. The materials in the warehouse belong to everyone. Help yourself to anything you need, but don't forget to replace it with something of equal value. Management, Dogi. Reminds me of an old-timey trade system. <laughs> I bet this will come real handy. After collecting a certain amount of materials, they can be traded for materials of superior quality. Oh, okay. So rather than dealing with money in the traditional sense... I see. Okay, we'll just leave... We'll leave those things as is. Let's go up here. This looks like a weapon spithing area. A hammer and a rusty anvil? What's this for? For maintaining our weapons. True. We might be able to do some minor upkeep to our weapons. Oh, I get it. Simple but helpful. All we need to maintain our weapons are the proper materials. Materials. Oh, that does remind me. I found this near the shore. This might come in handy. 
If you have the time, let's try it out. Okay, we can enhance our weapons. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Ooh, I maxed it out. I probably don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough to upgrade theirs. All right. So I need to make sure I collect some iron ore. Um, need to fish on the beach. Fish! How do I fish? Oh, there we go. Adol and the others went to the beach and used the driftage to make improvised fishing rods. From there, Sahad began to teach him how to fish. <laughs> With waves this calm, this is a perfect day for fishing. All right, let us catch some fish. But where do we even start? Typically, you want to find a spot where there are lots of fish and cast your line there. Isn't spotting fish easier said than done? <laughs> Lucky for us, there are lots of fish swimming around this island. We don't gotta look in hard to find them. I was just walking on the fish. Look, over there, check it out. Is that? Aye, those are fish shadows. Means there's fish gathering near that spot. Might even reel a big catch in if you're lucky. If you want a fish, keep your eyes peeled for signs of fish activity. Th that makes sense. One more thing. You can't fish without bait. Oh, thank you. Ugh. Obviously, we need bait. Just wish it wasn't worms. <laughs> Fish tend to like local bait, you know, nearby critters and such. Just do a little exploring and you'll find a whole bunch of them. Anyway, experience is the best teacher. Come on, let's do some fishing. Okay, press the... to pull out your fishing rod. Cast point, press A. When a fish bites, press A. Use A and the L to reel in the catch. Uh... You can still fish if no shadows are present. Are you going to haul items or strange objects rather than fish? Okay. So. Here we go. There! I got one! Oh. Oh, okay. Just mash A. Got it. Hey, I caught one! Yay, I caught a fish. Ah, oh, I got a bite. Huh? It's stronger than I expected. I I did it! Look everyone! See what I caught, um I mean, I'm just so surprised that I was able to catch one. Not bad. You're pretty good for a beginner. I think you two got real potential. But really, I can't explain what came over me, but it was rather enjoyable. <laughs> you guys can keep those rods. Use them whatever you want. Get the fishing itch. Also, it'd be really helpful if you guys could record every fish you catch. Especially if you're craving for some grilled fish. <laughs> Yay, fishing rod. Okay, so we can catch fish and record it in... Our log. Looks like we've caught nearly enough to make a hearty breakfast. Yes, I believe we've finished everything that was asked of us. Let's return to Dogi. The fire should be ready by now. Welcome back. Did you check out the facilities? They'll come in handy. <laughs> you mean it? Then I'm glad I got them all set up. How'd the fishing go? By the way, Dogi, your outfit... What is going on with all these clashing colors? You are nuts. <laughs> See for yourself. Wow, nice haul. I'll start cooking them up right away. But how should I prepare them? We don't got much to work with in terms of seasoning. We'll have to make do with the natural flavors of the catch. In that case, I'll whip us up some fish soup. 
As for cooking utensils, I'll just have to whittle some wood and use that. Make sure you don't chuck the bones. We can use them to make a hearty broth. Oh, great idea. Do you know how to cook, too? I'm actually pretty decent at it. Oh, I see. You don't know how to cook, Loxia? Well, well, I guess it's not that surprising. S sorry, I'm just used to servants preparing my meals. Then it's a great opportunity. The recipe for this soup is so simple, anyone can follow it. Why not use it to practice your cooking? How considerate of you. Thank you. With the right recipe and ingredients, you can cook meals at campfires. You can learn to cook meals by recipe books. They recover HP and add supportive effects. Rest in a camp or tent to remove the effect. Vegetable juice can also remove the effect. Why would vegetable juice remove the effect of food? Is it because vegetable juice is gross? Oh, I can't pull that off. Um, burp. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuffed. What do you think, Loxia? Is your stomach finally full? Yes, thank you. I was wondering how we'd feed ourselves on this island, but I guess that won't be an issue for us. Now then, Mr. Christian, we should begin our search for other survivors. Ah, oh, that's right. Better get a move on, Adol. But before you head out, you might want to check in with Captain Barbaros. Good idea. He just came back, so I know he's around here somewhere. Sorry I can't be more specific. Well, he wasn't near the beach, so... I'm guessing... Up here, maybe? Okay, we made benches. It's not up here. Oh, I can't jump down there from here. Ah, yeah. oh, there you are. Ah, oh, that's. Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning. Huh? That bird just talk at us? It appears to be some sort of parrot. It's it seems awfully domesticated. Oh, it does, though I suspect it's simply unafraid of people, having lived its entire life on this deserted island. I thought he could prove useful if I taught him some simple words to use. Oh, I see. He's pretty smart for a bird. Indeed. He has already learned basic greetings, so I suspect he comes from good stock. He needs a name, though. Speaking of words, my daughter just started talking on her own, too. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, you're what? You have a daughter? Huh? Of course I do. And let me tell you something, little lady. My wife, she's every bit of beauty you are. But really? For some reason, I'm very curious to meet her. <laughs> well, if we get out of here alive, you can come and meet my family. Not many outsiders come to visit, so it'll be a real treat for him. I'll keep that in mind. You got any little ones, Captain? Yes, actually. A young daughter, just like you. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Sounds like we both got one hell of a good reason to get out of here alive. <laughs> Indeed we do. By the way, Adol, there's something I'd like to share with you before you go. What is it? Did you- did you seriously make a request board? <laughs> of all the things to make, you made a request board. There's so many things you could have made in this village instead of that. You could- you could just walk up to me and give me your, your requests. Where did you even find paper? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so funny to me. 
will need a wide variety of materials to finish building Castaway Village, but Dogie and I will never be able to gather all the materials we need on our own, hence why we wasted some materials to make this request board. I'd like you to help us by gathering the materials we need while you explore. That shouldn't be a problem. Materials for building a village, huh? So stuff like wood and stone? Like what this sign was made out of? Actually, what we need will vary depending on what we want to build. So I've come up with a bulletin board system. That way people can write down what we need. It seems highly unnecessary being that there are only two of us here, but you know. If you ever need anything specific, just write it here for all to see. And for all to see, I mean you at all because you're the one who will be answering all these requests. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Captain Barbaros. Got it. We should check the bulletin board whenever we return to the village, then. I know it's such a silly thing to make fun of, but it's it's funny to me. <laughs> There's so many things you can make besides this. Oh, I don't need to read that. It's just going to tell me that it's a request board. That's all for now. Please continue your search for any other castaways. I'm counting on you. Alright. What, what do you want me to do? Building beds. I'd like to build simple beds for us. Alright. Um, let's improve our materials inventory. Will you help me collect some stuff? Alright, so I need to go talk to them. Building beds. Ah, that matter. I would like to build beds for the lodge. Could I trouble you to bring me three pieces of sturdy lumber? I'm in no great hurry, of course. Let me know when you have them. I guess I don't have it yet. What about you? Storage materials. Oh, you're going to accept my request. Perfect. Let me explain it to you. Alright, my request has to do with the warehouse here. As you can see, all the materials we collect are stockpiled here. We have an exchange system in place, but some materials run out faster than others. Especially materials dropped by beasts. It's hard to maintain our stock when some items are used more often than others. Think you can help me replenish our stock? Of course I'll help. <laughs> I knew you'd help me out, buddy. Judging by our current inventory, I only need a couple specific things. I need 12 murky mucus and 8 light bones more than anything else. If you can bring me those, I think our storage situation will be okay. Think you can get those items for me? <laughs> Thanks a ton! When you've got all the materials, make sure you bring them to me instead of dropping them off here. Catch you later, Otto! Alright, so I need to get logs, murky... Mucus and bones. So where should we start looking for the other castaways? Didn't Doogie say something about seeing someone nearby somewhere earlier? My word, were you not paying attention? <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Christian, you remember where we were supposed to go, don't you? Uh... S south? Oh... Okay. I was a guess. <laughs> Very good. However, that's just common sense. Dogi told us he saw footprints on the shore to the south. We should consult our map as we proceed so we don't get lost along the way. Uh, forgive me and my stupidity. Okay, so... I guess... I guess... Do I just go that way? Let's go this way and see if I've got the right idea. This fruit looks delicious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, farewell, ye spanny ladies. Boy, am I glad I ran into you, kids. <laughs> I thought I was all alone on the Isle of Saren. <laughs> Um, could you please be quiet? <sighs> Are all fishermen so boisterous? Mm. 
I didn't want to fight. I wanted to hear what that conversation was going to be. Is this where I needed to go? My word! Huh? Looks like this big tree was blocking our way. I don't think we can go around it. So we just gotta get this out of the way so we can head on over to the other side, yeah? By we, are you including me? Nah, you just sit tight, Loxia. Me and Adol will handle this. Found! Red one! Found! Adol! Huh? Hey, little lady. Knock off with that weird voice. <laughs> it wasn't me. The voice came from up above. Wait a minute. Ain't that the parrot the captain was teaching to talk? Indeed it is. I wonder, were you given a name at all? Name? My name is Little Pero. <laughs> little Pero, as in short for Little Parrot? Wow, that bird talks good. Little Pero. So, that's your name. Little Pero, Mess Inger. Mess Inger? What's it talking about? It's a messenger. <laughs> Mess Inger. Tell you a lot. I think it might be trying to say messenger. I tell get treats. Huh? It just flew away. Apparently it needs more training to be a proper messenger. Oh well. Come on, Adol, let's get to work. Working together, Adel and Sahad tried to move the fallen tree out of the way. But as time passed by, the two eventually realized they just weren't strong enough. So they decided to return to the village when suddenly... Hey, Adel! Look! Little Pero sent you to help us? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> He's already proving very useful. In situations like this, where long distance communication is need is needed, he'll be invaluable. Gotta admit, I'm pretty surprised. Nice work, little guy. I tell everything. You thank me. Now give me food. Considering that the captain has been training him, he's surprisingly rude. Sahad, salty. Laxia, scary. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think he may have picked up some new words while I was talking to him. I better be more careful or he'll relay a message I didn't mean to send. P perhaps we should all be mindful of that. Y yeah. Anyway, is this the tree that's giving you guys trouble at all? Uh, yes, can you help us out? Of course, that's why we're here. Now that Dogie's on the scene, you guys have nothing to worry about. Hmm, let's get to it then. If a large obstacle blocks the way forward, send a help request to Castaway Village. Okay, so I need a certain number of people to bust down a... Oh, you only need five. Okay. All right, let's do this. Yes! Oh! Even with Dougie and Captain Barbarossa's help, removing the fallen tree was difficult. Though Loxia was reluctant at first, she soon joined in to help the others too. Though everyone was covered in mud when it was all over, they were able to clear the path. The tree Thanks, was cleared, everyone. thanks to everyone's help. Whoa, oh, that was tiring. I'm tired too, but it seems we finally made some progress. <laughs> Wonder what we would have done if the others if the others hadn't shown up. We might need everyone's help again if we encounter more obstructions in the future. 
If we find more castaways, I hope they'll be willing to help us. We just gotta take things one time, one step at a time, is all. Ada. Little Pero, what are you still doing here? I see from Sky. I tell you, you thank me. Nearby event points have been marked on the map. Man, what's this bird's deal anyway? Don't ask me. I'm just a bird. I know nothing. See for yourself. <laughs> that bird cracks me up. Yes, stilted speech aside, he's already proven to be very helpful. Well, now that everything is squared away, let's continue moving. Now, go ahead! Uh-oh, save point. But there's enemies here, so I guess there's... <laughs> let's go! Oh, there we go. That's how you attack these hard, hard monsters. Oh, there's something there. You don't stand a chance, Mr. Crab. I don't really want to fight those things. I'm a little. Oh, 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 oh. this way. I'm such an idiot, of course. Go this way. What is that? Cobalt Crag. Ah, <sighs> what a beautiful view. What a captivating sight. Its beauty is mesmerizing. You know, this weird looking rock might make for a good landmark. We should take note of this location on our map. Memorable landscapes or sceneries are marked on the map as location points. Oh, okay. What is this? How many people? 20! There are 20 survivors? Oh, there's something there. Did everybody on the ship somehow live? Hopefully the next area will have a save point before a boss. Uh, uh. Save point! Please be here. I'm dying. Oh, there's there's a person there. Okay. Well, before I talk to this person, let me just examine the area. Oh, there's something there. Yeah. Can I just... Can I walk past her? Yeah. Oh, holy smokes. That is an area of enemies. How about instead of doing that, we just kind of approach this woman. This woman appears to be a castaway. Would you like to talk to her? Yeah, let's talk. <laughs> huh? What is this place? Oh, my darling. Where are you? Oh, yeah, she had that, um, that timid-looking husband of hers. They were at the dinner party, I remember. Gahaha, <laughs> found one! Um, who are you? Hello, by any chance, were you a passenger aboard the Lombardia? Y yes I was. Who are you people? Adol explained everything that has happened since the Lombardia sank. A deserted island? Oh no. The castaways are gathering at a base camp not far from here. We can escort you there. Okay. My name is Allison. We returned with Allison to Castaway Village and introduced her to Barbarossa and Dogie. She seemed very shocked to learn that she had been washed ashore on a deserted island. Though she seemed hesitant at first, Allison decided she would help the others escape. I mean, what other choice did she have? Was she like, no, I don't want to help you guys escape? Like, I don't want to leave on this? What? 
And so... Where's the hesitation? I understand the situation now. In the city, I worked as a seamstress. I even had my own shop. Your clothes and hair are on point. If there is anything I can do to help, please say so. We are all grateful for your assistance. Um, this may seem like a strange question, but you didn't happen to find a man around my age named Ed, did you? A man? Huh? Everyone we found so far is here. Oh, I see. Oh, darling. Pardon me, but were you traveling with your husband? Yes, we were together the whole time, even as we were falling into the ocean. But we were separated by the current, and I, I, I haven't seen him since. Don't lose hope. I'm sure your husband ended up somewhere on this island, just like you. Isn't that right, Mr. Kristen? I promise I'll find him. Really? I know you're just trying to comfort me, but thank you, Adel. You must be tired, Al er. You must be tired, Allison. Laxia, could you escort her to the lodge? Yes. Right this way, Allison. Thank you. Oh gosh, I hope we find her husband quickly. Um. Rescued castaways will join Castaway Village. Castaways may help the village with their unique talents. So I'm guessing she's going to become a seamstress here. As more castaways join the village, more daunting obstacles can be cleared. <laughs> Looks like this place is getting a little livelier. Hmm. Something on your mind? Yes, but please keep this between us. I'm concerned that the beasts are becoming more aggressive. The beasts, huh? That could be bad for us. At the moment, I don't think anything is about to happen, but we should come up with a plan to defend the village and keep everyone safe. Understood. Just tell me your plan and I'll do everything I can to put it in action. Thank you. Adol, you and the others are going to need to keep searching and mapping the island. I wonder where you'll end up next. Based on what you've mapped thus far, I think you've thoroughly searched this area. That means they'll be gradually getting further away from the village. But we have Pero with us, so we can let you know from here on if there's an We have Pero with us, so we can let you know from here if there's anything we need from you. Indeed, it might be best if you started searching areas you haven't mapped yet. I'm counting on you two. Um, did I collect the materials you needed for the building of the beds? Ah, you've brought me the three sturdy lumber that I asked for. May I have them at all? Thank you. I'll start making the beds. I'll probably end the episode here because I can see that the recording has been a while now. <laughs> With the help of Adol and the others, Captain Barbaros was able to build beds for the lodge. Oh, nice. Dang, you did that with just three logs? That's impressive. At last we fun At last we have real beds. I would prefer fluffier bedding than this, but this should help us sleep easier. <laughs> Good for you, little lady. But if you ask me, sleeping on the floor ain't all that bad. Right, Adol? Uh hammocks are the best. Yeah, <laughs> true. Hammocks do feel pretty nice. They do? But, but beds are obviously superior. How is this even open up for debate? You too, I swear. At least the captain is thoughtful. Thank you for being so considerate. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Why I should be thanking you for gathering the materials and helping me build them. <laughs> it's quite alright. This was a nice change of pace for us. I must say, I didn't expect you to be a jack-of-all-trades, Captain. The framework for these beds is quite remarkable. Yeah, if I had to build a bed, it'd probably end up looking like a table with a blanket draped over it. Where'd you learn to do this, anyway? <laughs> I 
I've dabbled in many trades over the years. Carpentry, cargo loading, shipwright, shipwright. Even now my furniture even now my daughter still asks me to make furniture for her. You don't say. <laughs> Glad to hear you and your daughter are so close. <laughs> thank you. Anyway, thank you for helping me with this. I'll do whatever I can to make sure everyone is comfortable until we get off this island. If you ever get tired while you're exploring, feel free to rest here any time. We will, thank you. That's one down! Nicely done. Wood shield obtained. Oh. Oh. Nice. More defense. Alright guys, I think that'll do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to like it. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy more Yeast 8 and I will... Oh, there's a quest here. We will start with that in the next episode. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!